Hello. Today I just want to share some things that I purchased at the dollar store. Um, some things are very crinkly. I know a lot of people like crinkly stuff. I just hope that I can manage the crinkliness. <laughs> um, good because sometimes there's some crinkles that are, are too hard or too rough and it just that just kind of hurts and there are some stuff that has crinkles that are very soft and I can enjoy those um, so let's start with my first bag over here this is not crinkly this is, and this is too dark. Let me see if I can turn on the, the light. I'll be right back. Okay, that made it better. Good. So, what I have here is a um, body wash and let's see sometimes tapping and soothing again it really depends on the tapping some tapping is hard and annoying and some tapping is it gives some tingles so this body wash is um it says stress relief with nature's lavender chamomile and uh, it smells okay. I mean it's not like really strong lavender. It smells all right. That's it. That is a dollar. Then I also bought a whoop. Can you tell what it is? It's a Spider-Man ball. And um as you may imagine, this is not for me. It's actually for my toddler. He um, he watches a channel, and I'll put the link on the video. Oh, there goes Spider Man. Um, he watches a channel that has. Um, a, a guy dressed as a spider I mean, dressed as a spider man and uh, he enjoys uh, th that video it's a lady um, a, a guy always dressed as spider man costume his name is Spidey and he enjoys watching that channel and then they, I think there's a little boy I'm guessing his wife, husband and the, and the kid um and the little kiss kid's name is Little Spidey. And it's okay, I mean it's it's fun for the kids to watch. So so he likes Spider Man right now, that's what he's into. Um he has spider my son has Spider Man uh toothbrush and toothbrush holder. Alright, so that's the first bag. Yeah, two things in one bag. Strange, but that's how they bagged it. Okay. Then I have Honey. I shrunk the kids crackers. Honey graham crackers. And um, you know who 
is really good with tapping like she is really good I think in my opinion Maria from Gentle Whispering um, she, she has she's very girly I'm not that girly or my sister will say I'm not girly at all <laughs> but um, Maria from Gentle Whispering is very girly and she has this soothing type of touch and she's very gentle and very feminine and she'll say it on her videos there's a couple of videos no no there's a few videos a couple is two a few is more than is three and over so um she has a few videos that i really like and they relax me and um, don't put me to sleep if well what song so she's got this tapping down pat. I hope you hear this again. I'm using my cell phone and I know the audio is different, but I'm trying to get this resolved. All right, so we got three dollars right now worth of stuff, and then. I got this for my daughter. She is 10 years old. She chose this kite with the pony. And it's crinkly. And this is a very soft crinkle. So, let's put it in like me here being in person I, the way I'm doing it um, it's soft but of course it sounds very different on the video so I'm just hoping that it sounds as not annoying as I hear it right now in person This is my daughter's kite, and it has instructions. What does it say? Do not use near overhead. Uh, do not use near overhead power lines or during thunderstorms. Caution: Never wrap line around fingers, hands, arm as line may pull rapidly when kite is caught by wind and caught skin and there's like another language I'm going to try to read it I don't know I want to say yes French but I don't know let's see if I pronounce this correctly Ne pas Friday voler au dessus they are lignes electricis. Oh lord, lords, the oranges, the oranges. Nice and grand, nice and garde. Ne jamais in roller la ficelle, ficelle outdoor do. The mines of oh, the broad Prisque elle purate Tire rapidement Lorsque le cerf volant Est pris dans le vent Et couper la bo I'm sorry I, I took French um, One quarter of French no, four months, three months. I forget. Um, a long time ago. And I don't even know if that's French or not. And I apologize highly if I totally mispronounce everything. I'm, tr I'm just trying to read it. I think it's cool. And my son gets a Spider Man. I actually just 
was going to buy them the kites, but then of course my son saw the ball and they're at his reach, so he got it. And I don't buy them everything they want, to be honest with you. I really don't. But it's summer time over here on the North Hemisphere of the American continent. To, you, to fly kites and um, play with the ball he loves soccer and baseball and uh, fo football well we call it football and then baseball and football americano so soccer football and uh, baseball so yeah my hair is a crinkle. I have a, I have some crinkles coming up there. These these are the annoying kind, I think. If not, man, uh, if not uh, handled correctly. So Spider Man. <laughs> oh, and my AC is going. Um, or was going. It's so hot outside. I don't like it. Okay, so then I got this. It is, um, what is it called? Is the thing that, oh, there it is. Scented sink strainer. Or stopper. So this is the thing that you put in the um, hole of the sink to trap food and stuff like that. From um, so that it prevents the sink from um, clogging and such. Okay, so it, I bought it because it says that it sent it. There was two aromas. It was the citrus, which I like, and then there was another one. And I don't know if I've said it before, but I really don't like fruity or flowery smells on things, on perfumes or anything. Um, so let's open it so that I can smell it. Ugh, sorry, it's very strong. <laughs> it's good. I just kind of sniffed it too close to my nose, and it was really strong. Oh, okay, put it back in the package. So it's very strong, but it's good because um, it serves its purpose where it's supposed to be, which is in the sink, not in my nose. It's really good. So, if you have a Dollar Tree store. See if you can find this. It's a dollar. It's good. It's good. Alright. And then here comes the annoying crinkles. I'm gonna try not to be annoying with them. Now, a lot of people don't like these. These are, um, what we call chicharron are old fashioned pork skins is what it says and everything is landscaped again I'm using my phone and see it's like crinkle and it's like really strong so a lot of people I know a lot of people don't like these things or pig feet or anything like that and I um I definitely, um, understand, and, um, oh my god, my mind went blank. I understand, and I respect that. There we go. I respect that. Um, the reason why I purchased 
the uh, pork skins or chicharrones uh, is because I can actually make a meal out of these. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to teach you tonight. I'm planning to make them tonight. So the way we eat these, if they come out of the bag like that, as um, as a um, oh my goodness, <laughs> mm, snacks, uh, it's just you pour them into a plate. And we Mexicans, we do this with uh, like almost everything, um, snack wise. Like we'll do it with lays, with chips lays. We'll do it with various things, and I'll probably do a video just later, 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 much later <laughs> about all the ways we eat things with salt, lime juice. And hot sauce, hot sauce. Um, my mouth water. Not for these, just for those three things. But in, in my case, if, if they're salty in them, I don't put salt because salt is bad for um, for your body. It retains water, and it makes you not healthy. Um, a lot of people like salt. I know firsthand few people that love salt. And um, I don't know. I, I don't do salt very well. Okay, my last item, and I'm going to, I bought it because I got this idea when I saw it. There's actually nine books. They're very thin, as you can see. And I'm sorry, like I said, it's dark. Um. Oh man, I was blocking the light all the time, the whole time. <laughs> what are you doing? No. Okay. So there's nine little books. This thick. Um. Good. This is the one for goodness. And there are more, um, there's, uh, uh, self-control, there was, um, joy, uh, there was another one for peace, I think, um, I forget, but there was various... I think I actually wanted to buy all of them, but I don't. I I decided not to for now. Um, but I I will depending on how this book ends up uh, being. So this book gave me an idea because I want I want to do a video about it later. Later, later. It says, Nine Fruits of the Spirit. A Bible study on developing Christian character. Goodness. By Robert Strand. Now, again, as you can read in my about, um, what's it called? Space, I guess. Uh, I do say that if you're not, if you don't believe in God, it's okay, um, you know, to visit my channel, because this channel is not about converting anyone to any type of religion or belief, it's just, um, pure, I don't know, entertainment slash relaxing just kind of focusing on something else other than our own problems or the world's problems which there's a lot of them so anyway actually I didn't read to be honest with you 
that this is a Bible study on developing Christian character. I didn't read that part. I went from the cover to content. So then I saw that, um, you know, there's reading, there's, and then there's like, and like spaces to user. I guess about the reading that you get. So, I'm going to take a closer look, and for those who don't want anything to do with Christianity, um, I'll make sure that um, I'll put a, a good title for them. Um, but if you have a Bible, a Christian Bible, then do this together, maybe? Um, okay, this is... This is so... I mean, we all believe in different things. Um, not just... I'm not talking about just religion. I'm talking about anything, really. You know, there's people who believe there is... Um, life in another planet. Um, I can't say that I do, um, but I don't like to think about it just because I'm not a scientist or anything like that. Um, a person that I know, that I, that I really love, he says that I'm selfish for not thinking that there's life in another planet and thinking that we're the only ones. I say, well, I'm not selfish. I just don't like to think about it because I'm in this earth and I live with humans here in this earth. There's enough going on. And, um, I don't know. I just, if there is life in another planet, then cool. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I don't like commenting on it or think about it or anything not something that's uh, of interest of, of my interest <laughs> anyway so so I got all of those items and here's my receipt let's see here um, there's my receipt again is the Dollar Tree Store Inc. And I got, it says, kite a dollar, kite a dollar, pork rinds a dollar, pork rinds a dollar, honey grams a dollar, sink scent a dollar, devotional, what is that? missing an item but it's in the kitchen that's yeah I don't know what the devotional is I want to say that's maybe body wash I don't know I think so play ball right there all-purpose cleaner, that's the one that is in the kitchen. It's just uh, wet wipes, um, antibacterial, and I put it in the kitchen because I'm about to go clean it up with it. I clean the counters. Spa house body wash. Oh no, that, this is it. What the flip is devotional? Hmm. I'm about to find out. And Spider-Man balloon. Oh, that's right. I got <laughs> my son a Spider-Man helium balloon. Let me let me lift it up. Yay! And 
my helium balloon and Spider-Man. I'll have to go to sleep just like you. I wish you sweet dreams. I'm sure Spider-Man doesn't speak like a girl. So, I'm sorry, Spider-Man. So, yeah. These are my items from the dollar store. And, um, I will find out what the devotional thing is. I don't remember. 